Hi, I'm Jack and I'm one of the makeup artists here at In The Style and now we're going to show you how to cover that hangover. With just a few simple steps, we're going to show you how to do a base on a day-to-day -day basis when you get up late after that night of partying. So we've got a foundation base on now, a little something on the eyes, but I'm going to show you how to conceal your dark circles under your eyes. That's the giveaway that you've had no sleep. I'm going to put a brow on, a bit of lash, a bit of lip gloss and you're ready to slay the day. So to start off, I am going to correct under Haley's eyes. I'm going to use a peach corrector or you can use a yellow corrector. What this does is it cancels out the blue under your eye and that's what's going to get a nice clear concealer, nice and bright so it looks like you've had 12 hours of sleep. So, I've just focused the dark circle corrector where you would naturally have darker bags under your eyes, especially if you've been out partying. And then I'm just going to blend that into the foundation so that there's no gap between the two and that they blend seamlessly. I'm going to put this on before concealer because I'm going to go back in with concealer now and that's what's going to make it really bright. So as you can see, it looks like she's already had more hours sleep than she has. Then I'm going to go in with my concealer, quite a full coverage to cover the dark circles. And again, just in the same area. So now that we've covered them dark circles, I'm just going to blend this all into the face. I'm going to make it blending with the foundation, give a really bright, flawless finish. So now that you've covered up the night before, you want to bake this concealer underneath, you want to set it with a nice setting powder. You look up for me. So we're going to press a nice setting powder all along your concealer. And that's what's going to make it stay for the day, and make it really light. If you just loosely tap on some setting powder. I'm going to leave that powder to set. I'm going to work on the rest of the face and make it look alive. Now that your base is on, you need to bronze yourself up. Put a bit of colour back into your skin. So I'm just going to dust some bronze around the borders of the face. Just to get the colour back in there. Once I'm happy with enough product for it, I'm just going to brush that through and really soften it. Just 
the way the setting powder and underneath you can see that bright concealer that's all set. Never know you went out the night before. Just gonna go back in with my bronzer now, just from where that powder was. Just to make sure there's lots of colour on the skin. Just don't look pale or pasty, so it's all bronzed and warmed up. Gonna add a little bit of contour, but nothing too heavy. Finish the skin off with a little bit of blush and a little bit of highlight. So a good tip to making it look like you've had lots of sleep, you need the eyes to look bright and open. So a good tip is a nice cream cold pencil or a nice white one. White's a little bit harsher than cream or a skin colour. Just pop that in your waterline, it's just going to make your eyes open a little bit more, make it look fresher, make it look like you've had loads of sleep. I'm just literally going to rub this all in the waterline. You want to frame the eyes a little bit but not put too much eyeshadow on so I'm literally just going to put a little bit of darker shadow just in the outer corners. I'm just going to put a little bit of highlight over the tops of the cheeks and that's just going to give that fresh skinned look. nice and fresh again. All you need to do is your lashes and lips. So you're just going to pop a little bit of mascara on, a bit of lip liner and gloss and that's it. You're away. Now that the lashes and lips are done, that's the final look and that's how you cover a hangover. Baby, baby, baby.